right here with the Indian River playmaker, Lamarion James. Three receptions for 100 yards tonight, two touchdowns. Also had 19 yards rushing, seven tackles. Two touchdowns the first game, three to second game, Lamarion, and then two tonight. How's it feel to get a win over Nansman River by 20 tonight? I feel like we played Indian River football today. I feel like we stuck it up big today. Your quarterback, I think it's Zakai Minga, is how you say his name? Tell me about uh, just getting him comfortable because I know his first couple games it was kind of learning the offense. What have you done as one of the senior captains to kind of get him comfortable as a teammate? Oh, that's my little bro. I know he had some more, so I had to build him up, get his confidence up. I just told him play, don't worry about what nobody saying. He did that tonight and to show his true, true colors today. Yeah, you guys were clicking on all centers, reminiscent of last year's offense. What did you guys do? Any changes you made to kind of get in a groove tonight? Or? Uh, well, they, coach put me at running back. And that kind of messed their heads up tonight. Um, tell me about uh, this defense going in. The Nance River's getting a lot of attention with their defensive front. Did you want to kind of beat them over the top? Was that kind of part of the plan to kind of spread them out a little bit and make them cover side to side? Or? Yeah, Coach put me on the island, and I just did my thing. Defensively, I said you had seven tackles tonight. I mean, uh, that's where you're going for the next level to play corner. I think it is at UNC. How much did you want to kind of set a tone on defense? I with wanted them to show too? people I can play defense too, because everybody think I'm just. Well, they know I can play both ways, but more, more people think I can just play offense. So I had to show them what I could do in defense today. Why did you guys win this game so decisively on the scoreboard and have, I mean, 300 plus yards of offense? Is there anything you pinpoint as to why you guys were so successful? Or? I mean, we came out here and we tried, we had to prove a point to people. Because people thought the team was just. We just had me. We had to show we had more weapons than just me. You guys could be undefeated right now. You had a 10-point yeah. fourth quarter lead against a good Northeastern team. People around here were surprised, but they've been in a state championship. Yes, How much sir. did that did that kind of as Tyrell Sproul, your teammate here in the Navy, uh, comes behind you there wearing the belt tonight? He had a good game. How much did that kind of, I guess, re-motivate or refocus you guys losing that game? Oh, man, we, Coach, man, we practiced hard all week because we knew we can't come out here play slow. We knew we had to come out here and play sure. Indian River football fast and physical. Yep. Let's talk, and we did that. Let's talk too about the Tar Heels before we finish up with the Braves here next week. Um, looking pretty good under Matt Brown here. A couple nice wins. We're close. to win that game over there. Oh, against Wake Forest, yeah. Uh, we've been down there, I'm sure, a couple times. Have you been to see the games this year? Or? Yeah, I went to the game last weekend against, who was it? Oh, Miami. Okay, and that was a great comeback with a 7x7 seven seven guy scoring in Daz Newsom. How much is there to kind of this feeling? I mean, you're one of the guys on Twitter leading it with assistant coach Dre Bly to get this 7x7 seven seven connection down there. For sure, man. I'm just trying to get my man Dre, Keandre Lambert, my cousin, I'm trying uh -huh. to get him with me. You guys are cousins? Won. Yeah, we're cousins. Okay. We just found that out last year. Okay. Yeah. October 4th decision. What's your pitch to him? Man, every day I just send him a, a Ram emoji, well, a Tar Heel emoji, <laughs> just to get, get him a hint. What was it about UNC? I mean, that's kind of what's changing down there to get the... Uh, they had a great coaching staff. I had a good relationship with the whole staff. It wasn't just Drew Black because he was from here. But it was the whole coaching staff. And I went there with my parents. They liked it. And I liked it too, so I just picked UNC. So it kind of feels like a home away from home. Mm -hmm. And lastly, Oscar Smith's coming next week. You know how big that game is. Um, what do you guys got to do to beat them for a second straight year? Uh, what's us is not a big game. It's just another game. We coming out here ready. It's a bit damn game to them, but we're not going to look at it. Like that. We're going to look at it as another game, and we're going to play football. Well, Lamarion James and the Braves look to protect home turf next Saturday, the 28th of September. Tigers and Braves will get it on. Thank you so much. Congratulations.